Group 12 includes zinc, cadmium, mercury, and copernicium. Zinc and cadmium are both used as coatings on metal to prevent corrosion. They both have two outer shell electrons and bond easily with oxygen, stopping the oxygen from reaching and corroding whatever metal lies underneath. There are many misunderstandings about mercury. Since Copernicium is named for the scientist who first demonstrated that the Earth is not the center of the solar system, we're going to team up to bust some modern myths. No, while it is true that CFLs contain mercury, which could get into the environment if not properly recycled, this risk is offset by the decreased energy usage. In the US, 48% of electricity comes from coal, which releases mercury. The extra energy used by an incandescent bulb will result in more coal being used and more mercury being released. More mercury, in fact, than is contained in a fluorescent bulb. This is true. Almost all fish contain methylmercury, which they store in fat. Larger fish will store the mercury of all the smaller fish that they have eaten. So, it is safer to eat smaller species of fish. Also, the FDA recommends that pregnant women not eat fish or shellfish in order to protect the neurological development of the fetus. No, no, no! Copernicium, are you ready for this? Yep. 1. Vaccines only contain trace amounts of mercury. 2. They contain ethyl mercury, which does not bioaccumulate. That means it doesn't stay in your body. 3. Mercury doesn't cause autism. It causes mercury poisoning, which results in sensory impairment, Hunter Russell syndrome, and Minamata disease. 4. There has been no increase in autism in the last few decades. The rise in diagnosis is only a result of better identification of autism. So, this myth is busted. <laughs>